Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas, and I'm going to show you a humane way of catching some rats. What I have is a clear piece of acrylic material here. This is slick. You can use any rigid piece of plastic. The idea is that the little critter will come over here, and when he gets there, their weight will transfer and change the angle. They won't be able to catch, and they'll fall in there. Now, I put a container in there. This there's a reason for why you want to do that, and I'll show you that if we catch some rats. So this is the setup. We're basically going to put our bait, some peanut butter, and some brown rice, or just rice. Any, they like that a lot. We're going to make a little stink trail with it, and we're going to put it right here, so hopefully their weight does the trick. And hopefully we can catch that on videotape. So here's why you put the container in there. You can see he's trying to get out and he's peed everywhere and he stinks right now. You don't want to leave these guys in here for more than about 10 hours because they will just die on you. So if you want to save them, that's not the thing to do. But rats scare very easily. So by putting a container in there, I'm going to try not to have him crawl on me. So he should crawl right in the container. They like uh, hiding in places. Get in. Go on. Let's see if he crawls in there. There we go. You see how he went in there and hid right away? Now you just come down with the lid. I'm trying to do this with the camera too. It's really hard. Stand the container up. Sorry, fella. Oh! By the way, you want to be careful when you do this. I've put a string on this before because they actually will uh, crawl up your sleeve and they'll end up on your shirt. I had two of them crawl right up on top of my head and jump out. He's tough. He's pretty strong. He'll he'll actually blast the slid right off. You got to. These guys are really smart, and um, they will actually open containers. I, I. He's actually unscrewing this. Believe it or not. Well, if he knows this or not, but he's actually turning the lid. That little. Bitch. I'm gonna tighten it back down again. Damn. Okay. He's a big. He's probably eight inches long. So this is kind of the sad part, but we're going to release him in this wooded area here. Um, hold on. That rat will probably only live a couple days. Something's going to get it unless it finds a good home. They're not really woodsy creatures, but it's better than poisoning them.